Hi, everybody. Welcome to this short but sweet sequence to stretch out the legs. We'll be opening the hamstrings and the adductors, so it's a great sequence to do after a long day of sitting. I hope you enjoy. We're going to start on our backs. You might need some blocks, so if you have them, just bring them to the side of your mat. If you don't, don't worry, it'll work just fine without them. Okay, let's start. We're going to start laying down on our backs, so make yourself comfortable. Once you get here, just make sure that your head, your shoulders, and your hips are in one long line. Just allow the arms to rest down alongside you. And now straighten the legs up towards the ceiling. But try and keep the feet above the pelvis so that when they're not too far forward, but also not too close. And once you've found that center, just start to circle the feet. Just to get those cracks and pops out of the ankles. Okay. Good. So now come back to center and now point your feet. So you're pushing the toes away so that the feet are nice and long. And now pull the toes towards you and flex the feet, push the heels up towards the ceiling. So you really feel the stretch in the entire back leg. Point on the inhale and flex on the exhale. Point and flex. One more time, point and flex. Now stay here, flex. You can bend the knees a little if you need to, but you really want to push those heels up towards the ceiling. At the same time, spread the toes. Take three deep breaths here, pulling the belly button down towards the spine. Just feel the length there. Last breath, push the heels up. And then slowly bend the knees, pull the knees in towards the chest, round the back, and just start to slowly rock and roll forwards and backwards just a few times. Then come to sit, use the hands to push yourself forward and come into a really nice, easy forward fold. Your feet are hip width apart, the toes spread, press the big toes down, the little toes down. So keep the knees a little bit bent here and now start to tilt the pelvis so you're pushing your sitting bones backwards and upwards. Create length in the spine on the inhale. And on the exhale, allow yourself to float down into your forward fold. Inhale, open forward, flat back. And exhale, allow the upper body to sink down. One more time, inhale. And now maintain the length in the spine. Allow the chest to melt down without rounding the back. Again, if you need to bend the knees, please do. Now start to push the sitting bones backwards and upwards to really open the hamstrings. Now start to press the heels apart without actually moving them, as if you were trying to make your mat a little bit wider. If it's difficult for you to find this, this movement, you can bring the hands to the outsides of your shins and just start to press the shins outwards against the hands. You'll hopefully feel a nice lift in the pelvis and an opening in the hamstrings. Three deep breaths here. Feel the length that you're creating without overdoing it, without forcing it. One last breath. And then release the head, release the neck, bend the knees. And now pull the belly button to the spine and just slowly roll up to stand. Once you get to the top, just roll the shoulders back, create space in the chest. Lift the arms up on the next inhale, and then bend the knees again, tilt the pelvis and float down into your forward fold. So you, again, you're finding the stretch in the back of the legs without needing to straighten them. Use the inhale to lift your chest forward. And now take a big step back with the left foot. So you can set the left knee down here and then just start to push the hips back into a half split. 
So if you have the feeling that you can't really get the hips back without rounding the spine, feel free to take some blocks underneath your hands and just use these to create a little bit more space. So now flex the front foot, spread the right toes, leave the knee bent just a little bit and now start to pull your right hip back and bring your left hip forward so that the hips are straight. Press the chest forward to open and create some space. And at the same time, press the hips back and create a little duck tail. This will increase the stretch in the back of the right leg without having to press the knee downwards too much. So breathe into this space. Feel the back of the leg opening. At the same time, you're pulling the legs towards one another to close that hip. Two more breaths. Good. Now slowly bend the right knee, lift the left knee up. You can take your blocks with you if you have them. We're coming over to the left, turning 90 degrees, so you're facing the left edge of your mat. Bend the knees here and bring both feet parallel. So now lift the chest up and bring the hands to the hips. With your hands here, tilt the pelvis forward so you're pushing the hips back and upwards. Use the hands to help you here to find this movement. And at the same time, just as we did at the front of the mat, press the heels apart. Maintain the length in the spine and then slowly allow the upper body to sink downwards. Again, you can take the hands to the blocks, you can take the hands to the ground, whatever it is you need here. Maintaining that length, especially in the lower back, by pushing the sitting bones backwards and upwards. Two more breaths. Good, and now lift the chest again. Again, grab the blocks if you have them. And now we're going to turn to the left foot. Turn the feet and then set the right knee down. Bring your hands around uh, on the height of your left heel, so not too far forward, so left and right of the left heel, and then start to press the hips back. Keep the pelvis up above the knee, so we're not sitting back on the heel, but staying up here. Flex your left foot, spread the toes, and now pull your left hip back, bring your right hip forward by pulling the legs towards one another. And with this little bend in the left knee, start to press the hips back, tilting the pelvis and finding your duck tail. At the same time, press the chest forward to create length and breathe. Maintaining this activation of the muscles in the legs while we're opening them. A okay, last breath here. Good, now slowly bend the left knee, bring the weight forward, lift up the right knee, and now bring the hands over to the right side of your left foot and just start to walk around 90 degrees to the right again. So you're back to facing the long side of your mat. You can just leave the blocks in front of you, bring the fingertips to the mat, and slowly bring your feet towards one another until you find a hip width stance. Lift the heels and slowly bend the knees, bring the hips downwards. Okay, sit the hips back. Open your legs to the sides. Let's just take a quick stretch for the inner thighs. Bend the knees a touch, bring the fingertips behind you, and now lift the hips, tilt your pelvis so you're doing your duck tail again, and then set the hips down. Lift your chest. And if you have the space, you can now straighten the legs. If not, leave them bent and focus on tilting the pelvis here. And breathe. If you want to take this forward for the last couple of breaths, feel free to do, to do so, but maintain that length in the spine. Last two breaths here.
And then slowly come all the way up to sit. Bring the hands behind you and just bring the legs back into your cross-legged position. Rest the hands and just take a moment to feel. I hope you enjoyed that little stretch for your legs. See you next time. Namaste. Namaste.